Hi, I'm Marlene and I'm back again with another video. Today I'm going to be talking about some Middle Eastern fragrances that I'm loving right now. Um, most of them are inexpensive. Hold. <laughs> okay, as I was saying, most of them are inexpensive. Inexpensive. A few... Well, one is on the pricier side, and the other ones are reasonable, reasonably priced, average price. That's what I'll say. Okay, so let's get started. Oh, before I get started, hello and welcome to all my new and existing subscribers. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being consistent with me. Um, yes, welcome. Please like, share, subscribe. Take the time to like and subscribe right now if you haven't already done so. At the end of the video, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Okay. So we're going to start with Bright Peach by... Maison Alhambre. Okay, this, oh my God. This is a beautiful, 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 beautiful peach. It is a bit of a spicy, boozy, sweet peach. This is a fragrance that will linger on your body, but especially your clothes. And the dry down is so pretty. Of course, by the bottle, you already know what it's a dupe or is what it's trying to dupe. I don't need to get into that because this on its own is a beautiful fragrance. And I am loving this right now during the springtime so i wanted to highlight bright peach you know what i'm gonna spray these spray a little bit on me the peach when it opens up you get the bright peachiness but you also get the spiciness and a little bit of the booziness and then when it dries down it all comes together and the peach and spiciness of the fragrance oh my god it's just a really beautiful scent that's bright peach okay so now i have another peachy fragrance mixed with some other um notes this one here has some florals in it It even has a little slight creaminess in it. I didn't look up any of the notes right now. I can't remember the real notes in these fragrances. So I'm just telling you what they smell like to me. I enjoy it. This one. This one gives you like the summer flowery dress like that's what you should be wearing and so it has a it's a little lighter and if i'm gonna since the both of these are peach fragrances i'm gonna say bright peach may be a little bit heavier in in scent i was this one has some florals in it this is i didn't even say the name this is sandos by Latafa. Beautiful bottle. So if you can't remember the name and you notice a Latafa that I'm like, oh my God, it's a new Latafa. Look for this beautiful bottle. The bottle is beautiful. It has a peachy note with some other fruits. Um, it has a little bit of depth in it. And like I said, it has flowers. I would even say it has a little bit of um, woods in it. It 
It's another pretty fragrance. Easy to wear, bright, pretty. They did say it's a dupe for something. I can't remember. I don't have it. Oh, it might be one of those um, Dior fragrances. The Blooming Cherie. De, one of those type of fragrances. One of the ones in that square bottle. I don't have any of them. So one of those. Uh, is my the, the, the names in my head are um, bunching up together. So I can't remember. But it's one of those square bottles with the bows. I believe that's what they said. It was um, duping one of those fragrances. I have no idea. All I know is that it smells good. Next, <laughs> I have Club de Wheat Imperial. Mm. Y'all already know this. My hands are so dry, but I said that in the other video. I forgot to put some lotion on and I have, oh, I have some. That's going to mess up the smell. Okay, we're going to keep it moving because what I have up here is a fragrant lotion you already know yes this is duping something also this is you know what it is if you know this bottle you already know what it's duping i'm gonna talk about the fragrance on its own it's a beautiful jammy rose with lychee it has some vanilla or some creaminess in there long lasting beautiful scent it's a combination of two fragrances together supposedly it smells like it has some raspberry and some lychee to me it's that bright fruit with some powder powderiness some creaminess smells like it has some vanilla in there It's long lasting, a compliment getter. It gets the job done. This has been smelling so good to me. If I didn't have so many fragrances, I would be wearing this all the time. And I probably would say it about all of these because um, for the springtime already, I've worn all of these multiple times. Oh, except for two. Or maybe I did. I think I did. Yes, I've worn all of these multiple times. Oh my God, this is so pretty. Beautiful rose. If you love rose, try this. If you love a jammy rose, try it. If you love lychee, raspberry, creamy, vanillic, try it. This is a good one. These tops are on secure, y'all. I love that because um, I'm always picking up fragrances by the top and I can have stuff crashing when the top doesn't fit. This is another good one. I'm telling you, these fragrances are the bomb. This is Latafa and Sam Gold. That's this bottle. So pretty. This is a sweet, creamy, powdery, it may be marshmallow, orange blossom type fragrance. Of course, it's supposed to be a dupe of something else. But it's just pretty. It's just pretty and comforting. It's like a fragrance you can put on at any time. You can, you can, um... Sleep in this, it's like it, it dries down enough where you can sleep in it, and then it's fragrant enough, fragrant enough where you can wear it in the daytime and smell wonderful. It's some orange, like I said, it's orange blossom, vanilla, maybe some type of whipped or marshmallow type of note with it.
it has something else going on and I can't pick that out, but it's just pretty. So there. And Sam. Might have a little bit of woods or something going on in there to 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 give it a base. Okay, so now we have Wulong Cha. Cha? Wulong Cha by Nissan. A. This is an extract de parfum. Now, this perfume can be a bit on the pricier side unless you get it from a discounter. This is a beautiful tea fragrance. As you can see, I've been loving it, y'all. This is not a um, tea that's going to fade away. This tea stays with you. I, want to, I believe it's a black tea. I'm not sure. I think I do have the card here. Nope, wrong one. Wrong one. So. But I believe this is a black tea. You're getting some of the lemon scent from it. It has a little bit of a greenness to it. It can be worn alone. But I've been layering it with Ann Sam. This is beautiful. Because... The it adds a little bit of creamy sweetness to this um, Wulong Cha. This doesn't have much sweetness to it, but it has the freshness. And the combination of the sweetness with the freshness and the tea and the creamy. Mmm. This is pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. But just on their own, individually, both of these fragrances are nice this one you have to like a tea scent a citrus scent and i would say a little bit of greenness in your fragrance because it's going to give you that freshness so that's nishane wulong cha next I have Miss Kayali. This is Sweet Diamond Pink Pepper 25. Beautiful bottle. Beautiful fragrance. I wore this. Got my whole rose or spicy rose life. So pretty. This is a bit powdery. Ooh. Sweet, jammy, spicy rose. If you like that type of scent, I'm sure you would like Kayali. Just as with the Club de Week. They both have that, a bit of a spicy, jammy rose. Now, what I will say... Now that I'm smelling them side by side, Kayali isn't as fruity. Let me say the name. Sweet Diamond is not as fruity as Club de Wheat. They're both beautiful fragrances. It, it fits the jammy rose, if, if that's what you're looking for. But if you want the fruitiness go with club de wheat imperial but if you just want that sweet jammy spicy rose pick up sweet diamond pink pepper pe pink pepper very elegant it's beautiful it is a beautiful scent and last but not least i have another k out of y'all i've been getting into her Check her out. This is Kayali Yum Pistachio Gelato 33. That's my scent of the day. Of course, I got a compliment from my friends. But they, they know what I do, so they'll give me a compliment. 
But let me tell you about Yum Pistachio. I like this scent. I know it's controversial, but it seems like people, more people are coming around to saying that they like it. It seems as though um, they were a bit thrown off by the advertisements or the campaign for the fragrance. This fragrance is pretty. It is a beautiful, to me, beautiful, creamy, gourmand spring scent. You're getting the, oh my God, excuse me. We're getting the sweetness. You're getting a little bit of the pistachio, the creaminess that would be like the ice cream, the, a bit of floral, a bit of citrus, a bit of freshness. It has a little bit of everything and to combine together, it is a beautiful fragrance. The one downfall is that you will have to respray and respray and respray if you want this scent to give you what you need. This is not a one-time fragrance and I'm done for the day and I'll get little whiffs here and there. It may fade, but I'll still smell it. No, this is just going to fade. But it's so pretty. It has that... And Okay, so even though it's a gourmand to me, it has that light, fluffy, airy type of thing going on. So the gourmand in it is not too heavy. It's just pretty. Now, the one thing I will say, let me talk about this bottle. People talked about the bottle. People love the bottle. I'm not the lover of the bottle because I love these type of bottles. And I think... If this bottle was a green, kind of iridescent, a little bit reflective bottle, oh, I think that would have been so pretty. Same shade, but just more on the reflective, iridescent look inside. And I love the clear top. I'm not a fan of the white top. I love the clear top. And I know people are like, oh, I love the white top. I love the frosted bottle. I'm contrary. I wanted a reflective bottle because it said that this is a, um, what you call it, intense. It's not intense. Now, when it first come out with you, the burst of freshness and the beautiful scent, that's intense. But it dies down. And it fades and becomes very quiet, very close to the skin, and almost disappears. But it's so pretty. I'm going to just take the bottle with me, or I'm going to take a decant, and I'm going to spray it because I'm loving it. This is beautiful for the springtime. I think this came out at the perfect time. Do y'all know Kayali coming out with another fragrance? I think it's dropping in June. I can't remember. I can't remember if they said something about the notes or not, but I've seen her on um, Sebastian's channel, the fragrance guy. If you check him out, you, you can catch the, the interview that he was doing with her because they had met up and they were talking about fragrances. And she, and she let it be known that they have another fragrance coming out in June. I can't remember what she said about it, but I'm like, goodness, lady, you just bam, 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 bam. All the time, just bringing new fragrances. But I like this. Okay, so I'm done talking about the Middle Eastern fragrances that I have really been enjoying for springtime. I'll talk about some other Middle Eastern fragrances at another time. I hope you enjoyed this video. Once again, um, I appreciate all of you watching. Please like, share, subscribe. Leave me a comment. Tell me which one or two or three <laughs> Middle Eastern fragrances have you been loving lately? They're the bomb. Okay, thank you for watching. See you later. Bye-bye.